Mike isn't coming, Bob. He's still stuck to the game on his tablet. It's been a week since he has come out to play with us. Let's go get him. Sorry guys for not coming to play, but I can't leave in the middle of this game. You all go ahead without me. <laughs> Bob, we need to get Jack out of the house. Do something. Jack doesn't know what he is missing. So let's make a game better than the one he is playing. To move ahead, reach the top of the tree. Huh. Aha! Hmm. The next clue is in the book. The title, maybe. Take a look. That's it! I have to go on top of the hill! <laughs> Look into the box and find the odd one out. Where it will take you, you will soon find out. Aha! It's in the playground! <laughs> Race you there! <laughs> uh oh! Are you okay, Jack? <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Jack! Here is your tablet! But we were wondering if you would like to play! Yes, I would. I realize now how important it is to be active. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't playing with you all. But hey, let's play! <laughs> Hi, kids. It's important to go out and play. It keeps you active, and you get to meet your friends. Plus, it's loads of fun, isn't it? over for lunch today, right? He is at home, but each time we ring the bell, this happens. All are welcome to my home. Kids, fairies, elves, and gnomes. But only when I have heard the one and only password. <laughs> hmm? Uh, what is the password? We don't know. We've tried everything, from open sesame to abracadabra. <laughs> I've even tried Bob is the best. Oh, I was so looking forward to eating Bob's yummy souffle. What do we do now? I could really give you a hint and a clue. 
Of great words, there are two. Use one and come through. <laughs> Ooh, I love riddles. Let's solve this. Of great words, there are two. What are the two greatest words? Bob, give us another clue. It can open many a door and much, much, much more. When you want to be polite, add the word and make it right. <laughs> hmm. Uh, let me think, let me think. Polite, right, opens a door and much, much more. Uh, aha, please. The password is please. Voila! One of the best words is please. Ah. It is polite and nice to add please when you want something. Come on in. Have homework to do. Oh yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? All can leave my little home. Kids, fairies, elves, and gnomes. But only when I have heard the one and only password. Mary, can you guess this one too? Please, Bob, give us a clue. What is more delightful than to say you are grateful? Two little words you say to make someone's day. Mm. Come on, Mary, figure it out. I think I guessed it. Ooh, please tell us, what is it? It's thank you. Yes, of course. Thank you, Bob, for a wonderful lunch. So, friends, what are the two best words ever? Please and thank you! Yes, well done! Never forget these words and use them all the time. It's always good to be polite. Thank you, Bob! See you later! See you next Have a good day, Bob! Thanks! Did you learn the best passwords in the world? Please and thank you are magic words that you can use to get help and make friends. Have a wonderful day filled with joy, laughter, and learning. See you soon. Okay, kids, I hope you all had a wonderful time at the masquerade party. Yay! It's getting late. You should all be getting home now. The party is in, Bob. You're my friend. Bye. 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 We should do this again real soon. Thank you, little elves, for helping me out with the party. <laughs> we so enjoyed it, Bob. Come on, if we hurry, we can stop by the new toy store at the mall. Oh, yes, let's do that. Grab your coats. The last one out is a slowpoke. <laughs> I think Jack is the slowpoke. Oh, no, I'm not. You are behind me. Uh-uh. I think Bob is the slowpoke. He's still inside. Hey, Bob, you're late. You kids carry on. I have to get the house in order. Maybe I will join you later. Ah, Bob, we'll miss you. Have fun at the store, kids. Be safe. Bye. Bye. I do feel bad about leaving Bob behind. But if we wait for him, the store will shut. 
You know, he did call us his little elves. And what do elves do? They help! If we help Bob around the house, he'll finish his chores faster and be able to come with us. house has never looked so lovely. And you know what, Bob? We actually enjoyed helping out. Yeah, in fact, I think I'll help my mom around the house. It's so easy and fun. That's wonderful, kids. I'm glad you enjoyed the evening. And now, the last one out is... The Slowpoke! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it made you I said it was having great fun. Are you all ready to be little elves in your house? I'm sure your mom and dad will be happy with your help. And guess what? It is fun, too! Have a wonderful day filled with joy, laughter, and learning. See you soon! Five marshmallows left. One for each of you. I can't eat anymore, Bob. They get stuck in my teeth. I can eat Polly's share. Ah, cool. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll turn sticky and sweet like a marshmallow, Jack. You've eaten yeah. way too many. Not if you brush your teeth before you sleep. Aww. Uh, uh. Ah, I'm too sleepy. I ate only two. My mouth is clean. See? Uh... I like the taste of marshmallows on my lips. Yeah, so will the ants when you're asleep. Uh. <laughs> Bob, we so don't want to brush our teeth. If you don't brush and wash, Germs will say, oh my gosh, we have a new home where we can freely roam. But Bob, I'm too tired right now. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping Mary will teach us a new dance tonight. But I don't know a new dance, Bob. I have a new song. I thought you would so love to make a dance out of it and teach us. But never mind, you all are too sleepy. No, Bob. I'm not all that sleepy. Yeah. I, I want to learn a oh, new yeah. dance. I'm also not all that tired, Bob. Really? You sure? Yes! Oh, that's good to hear. Let me whisper the song to you, Mary, and see if you can come up with some steps. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love your song, Bob. I think I have the steps ready. Are you all ready to meet the boogie brush? What's that? Let me show you, Bob, on the count of three. Three, two, one. We go to the left, one, two, three. We go to the right, dum dum D with the boogie brush in hand. Let's dance as we stand. A little on the in 
inside, ha ha ha. A little on the outside, he he he, with a boogie brush in hand. Let's dance as we stand. Let's get the tongue to roll, ah ah ah. Clean, clean is our goal, ah ah ah. With a boogie brush in hand, let's dance as we stand. Teeth so white, teeth so clean, they are the best that I have seen. The boogie brush is so awesome for scrubbing our teeth. Tongue and gum. Yeah! Yeah! That was so much fun. Do you guys want to learn this? Yay! Okay, then get your toothbrushes out now. Now, isn't it a fun way to brush and keep germs away? So get your boogie brush out and remember to do the boogie brushing every night and every morning. Have a wonderful day filled with joy, laughter, and learning. See you soon. Kids, finish your homework. Then we can go and play in the garden. I just got a new sand pit for you all. I'm done, Bob. I'll do mine later. Uh uh, Johnny. Remember, you promised your mom you will finish your math homework before playing. Jack, have you finished your reading? Hmm. No. I don't think I'm going to school tomorrow. Hmm. Huh? Are you not feeling well, Jack? No, it's just that I don't like school anymore. <gasps> But you love school. You love your English class, your craft class, and your Scout Club. Mm -mm. Is everything okay with Jack? I don't know, Bob. He doesn't say much these days. But I heard from his classmate that Jack is being bullied in school. <gasps> By whom? By Big Brad. And Jack doesn't want to tell anyone because then he'll be called a wuss. Brad is a real mean kid. Everyone is scared of him. What do we do, Bob? I have a plan. Gather around. Ha 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 
Hey, little Jack. Give me your lunchbox now! <laughs> hey, Brad. You should know that Jack is our best friend. We won't allow you to be mean to him anymore. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm not being bullied by Brad. Jack, Brad is bullying a lot of kids at school. If you don't tell anyone, he'll scare a lot more kids. It's okay. We're with you, Jack. You don't have to be ashamed or afraid anymore. Hello, children. Oh. <gasps> I came to have a chat with your principal and thought I would drop by and see how you're doing. Brad, I would like to talk to you in my office. Uh, mm. Jack, it's not your fault that you're being bullied. You should have told me, or Dad, or your teacher. But it's okay. Bob spoke yeah. to me, and I met with the principal. Brad will never bully you again. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Jill. Yeah. Mary, Polly, <laughs> Johnny. <Yeah. laughs> you should thank Bob. He told us that we should look out for you so that you are never alone in school. And that we should immediately tell an adult we trust. That's right. Bullying is wrong. And we should not ignore it. Class was fun today. Thank you, Bob. Brad actually said sorry and has promised to never bully me again. Do you like school now? Oh, yes. I love school! That's great! Now, let's quickly finish homework. There is a new sand pit waiting for us. Yes! Spelling isn't so bad, but I really look forward to the science test. If you are being bullied or see someone being bullied, remember, find your friends and tell them to stay by your side. That's what friends are for. And always tell an adult your parent, your teacher, or the student counselor. They will know what to do. Bullying is mean, and you should help stop it. Have a wonderful day filled with joy, laughter, and learning. See you soon. Kids, excited about the community painting competition? Yes, Bob. I made my mama buy me a new set of paintbrushes. I so want to use them. You know, I think I'll paint a vase full of flowers. I want to try my hand at drawing a canary. A rainbow. That's what I'm going to paint. Oh, well... I've been practicing at home. Uh -huh. I got Spud, my doggy, to pose for me. Take a look. Oh. Ooh! Uh -huh. oh. That is so awesome! I'm sure you'll win the competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. Ah! What's wrong, Polly? Oh, no! I left my paint kit and brushes at home. Oh. Can't you call your mom and tell her to drop it here? She's at work. So is Dad. Oh, what do I do now? I won't be able to take part in the competition. If you want to show you care, is there something you can share? For your friend is in need, and help you can, indeed. Polly here, you can use my brushes. I won't use all of them all the time. Oh, but they're brand new. And they're perfect for you and me. Yeah, and if you sit next to me, 
You can use my paper. And Jill and I can use her crayons. So here, you can use mine. Oh, yes, totally. Oh, wow, you guys. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, you guys are the best. You will ace the contest. Because you yeah. know how to share. Because yeah. you do really <laughs> care. Bye. Oh, Bob, Polly won! Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Polly. That's wonderful. She also won a gift card from the new toy store. Way to go, Polly! Polly, now you can buy that doll you always wanted. <laughs> hmm. No, Mary, I won't be buying the doll. Oh, but why? Because I'm going to buy a board game for six players. What? Wow, really? Yeah! If you all hadn't shared your paints and crayons and brushes, I wouldn't <laughs> have won. So now, I want to get something for all of us and share my prize. Aww. To my friends, thanks a ton. You make sharing so much fun. Give a little, yeah, get a yay. lot. What a lovely, lovely thought. Come on. Let's get to the store before it closes! Yeah! <laughs> Remember, my friends, when you give a little, you do get a lot in return. So enjoy sharing your toys and your treats with your friends. And don't be surprised when they share with you. Have a wonderful day filled with joy, laughter, and learning. See you soon! Sleepovers. Please thank your folks for letting us have the sleepover in your house. <laughs> thank you, Bob, for offering to look after us while they're away. <laughs> hey, our show is on. Oh no! We'll miss the show. Oh, my tablet isn't charged. We can't watch anything till the power comes back. Oh, no. Now what will we do? How about we tell each other stories? Ooh, that sounds great. I know the story of Little Red Riding Hood. But we already know that story. How about Rapunzel? Heard that, too. How about stories you have never heard before? But how do we know stories we've never heard before? Ah, I remember your mother putting these books away in this cupboard. Here are many stories you have never heard before. You have been neglecting your BFFs. BFFs? Book friend forever. <laughs> a book is great. It is your best mate. You learn a bit when you sit in a nook with a book. A lovely story it can tell. It can yeah. hold you in a spell. Uh -huh. You will feel so good if you sat or stood in a nook with a book. 
Oh, this is such an awesome story! It's about a dragon that dances! Mine is about a boy in a jungle! My book is about a school of magic! Wow! <laughs> the jackal in my book is so clever! I'm learning new things! <laughs> my book is so funny! It's about an adorable naughty dog! <laughs> the books will never leave you! So much they can teach you! Open your mind, a new world you'll find! In a nook <laughs> with a book! <laughs> Yay! Oh, the power is back on! Shall we go back to our TV show? <laughs> Kids? Oh, come on, Bob! Do you really want to watch TV? Why don't you pick up a good book? Yeah, Bob, this is so much more fun! It's so wonderful! I'll have so many new stories to tell now! Shh! I want to read! Are you all ready to find a BFF? A book friend forever? They are just amazing because you can have fun while learning new things and also improve your language. So find a nook and sit with a book. But make sure you have enough light to protect your eyes. Go on. Give it a try. Have a wonderful day filled with joy, laughter, and learning. See you soon. Johnny, you really like your veggies, don't you? Hmm? Uh, yeah, yes. I don't like them. Well, she must be feeling really bad. Who? Miss Bean. Miss Bean, why are you so sad? Oh, Bob, no one is eating me, so I am really sad and gloomy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Bean, but I don't like anything green. But kids, vegetables are good for you, right, Johnny? Uh, um, yes. Miss Bean, Mr. Carrot, and Mr. P, please really do tell me. What do you have to say? Are you dull and boring or happy and gay? <laughs> We are red, we are green, we are the best you have seen. Not just good, we are great, we are pasta's bestest mate. We would love to know more about you, wouldn't we kids? Yay! I am green and shiny and kind of long. I can make you good and strong. A great source of protein, that's me. In a pod, I do live. I have so much to give. High on fiber, I am Mr. P. Mashed or boiled, just eat me. Mmm. I never thought you were this delicious, Mr. P. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I would like to do a dance for you, but I need my partner. Where is your partner? Under the table where Johnny has put his vegetables. <gasps> Johnny, Johnny, are these your veggies? Uh, yeah, yes. I really do feel bad for them now. I'm sorry I lied. Here's your partner, Mr. Carrot. Brace up for an awesome performance. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I am red and yummy. I can soothe your tummy. I do wonders for your eyes. Lift your hands for high fives. 
Thank you, my dear veggies. Kids, how do you find our friends? Veggies are totally wow! So, do you think veggies are boring? No! I think veggies are awesome! They belong in my stomach, not under the table! <laughs> <laughs> so, are you all ready to make friends with the veggies on your plate? I totally hope so! Have a wonderful day, filled with joy, laughter, and learning! See you soon! Ah, the Jungle Run competition is finally here! I bet Polly will win the competition for the third time in a row and get the trophy. I'm not so sure, Bob. She hasn't been practicing regularly. Her cousin is in town, and they're playing late into the night. She's not getting enough sleep either. That's not good. Not going to sleep on time affects your health. Hold on! I have just the way to show Polly how important sleep is. Hi, Polly. The Jungle Run competition is around the corner, and Johnny tells me that you haven't been going to sleep on time and are too tired to practice. Well, yes, I haven't been sleeping, but that doesn't affect anything because I will still win. Well, Johnny doesn't think so. In fact, he has taken a bet that he can beat you. Oh, really? Fine. Tell him that I accept the challenge. I knew you would say that. That's why we have made a trail just like the Jungle Run. May the best boy or girl win. Yay! Congratulations, Johnny. You were really good. No, Polly. I wasn't so fast. It's just that you were slow. You have a point, Johnny. I am so tired. <sighs> That's because you haven't been sleeping enough and going to sleep on time, Polly. Lack of sleep makes you tired and slow. You are right, Bob. Thank you for making me see how wrong I was. I realize now how important sleep is to be active, energetic, and focused. I better go get some rest and prepare for the competition. That's the spirit. You're gonna win it, Polly. I'm so nervous. I hope Polly has won the trophy. Huh? Hi! Yay! Yay! We are so proud of you, Polly! You did it! It's all because of you, Bob! Thank you for making me understand how important sleep is for all of us! That's right, kids! Go to sleep on time to wake up strong and fresh! Remember, everything is possible after a good night's rest. Hey! That's mine! You come back here! That's my trophy! Thank you for inviting us, Peters. I'll see you next. Peters' mom really knows.
knows how to throw a good party. Look at what I want in the stack race. And I won this in the spoon race. Mary and I won a pencil set in musical chairs. Uh, I couldn't get away from the hot dogs. I wish there was a hot dog eating competition. I would have won first place. Hey, Bob. Did you get a prize too? Oh well, not yet. But I am going to win the biggest prize of them all. But the party is over, Bob. Uh-uh, not yet. Who wants to play the last game with me? Me, 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 me! Great! How about a treasure hunt? Now all of you need to wear a pair of gloves. <laughs> How do we play, Bob? Oh, very simple is the game. You just have to pick and aim. With the gloves on your hands, look for paper, bottles, and cans. Hmm, okay, but what do we do with them? What do the bins say? Read out if you may. Come on, kids, give it a glance. Bottles, paper, and cans. So we collect the bottles and put them in the bottle bin. The cans in the cans bin and the paper in the paper bin? Is that right, Bob? Yes, Mary. You got it. But how is this a treasure hunt? What is the treasure? Ah, I will tell you all about the treasure once you finish the game. So shall we start on the count of three? Three, two, one. <laughs> Bob? We all did, Jack. Uh, what's the prize? This greatest prize of all, better than a toy or doll, is this lovely little planet that we all do inhabit. Um, I didn't get it, Bob. Don't we all love a clean home? Oh, we do. I clean my room every week. And isn't planet Earth our home? Yeah, it is. So, we just got ourselves a clean home. Oh, yes! I get it! That's a great prize! But what will happen to all that we've collected? A recycling plant, do you know, is where the bins will go. Crushed or cleaned, they will be to be reused, don't you see? Ah! So that we don't cut more trees and our planet Earth is at ease. The more we reuse, the less we have to lose. <laughs> exactly! This way. We don't pollute the environment making more bottles or cans. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Earth is much cleaner thanks to us. Yes, we can breathe better air and live in a better place. Now isn't that the best prize one can get? Yes, Bob! Now always remember to pick up the waste and put them into the right bins. And be happy and healthy and caring towards our home, the planet Earth. Uh-huh. Time to go, kids. Have a good time, boys. Boys. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Next time. So all of you out there, if you love your planet, show that you care. Reduce the paper and plastic that you use. Recycle whatever you can. And reuse stuff instead of just throwing it away. That's the lesson of the day. Reduce, recycle, and reuse. Have a wonderful day filled with joy, laughter, and learning. See you soon.
This is gonna be so much fun! I can't wait for all of us to go to the circus! I heard there are gonna be clowns, jugglers, and magicians! Hello, Mary! Where is Johnny? Oh, hello, Bob. Johnny was climbing a tree, and he hurt himself. <gasps> he says he can't come, and he asked us to go to the circus without him. <gasps> but it's no fun without Johnny! Bob, do something! Johnny can't go to the circus, and that's a fact. But let's have some fun and do a surprise act! <laughs> <laughs> Look! Johnny's window is open! Let's call him! Hey, Johnny! Johnny, come to the garden! We have a surprise for you! What is this? Well, since you can't go to the circus, we thought we would bring the circus to you. Presenting the Goofy Clown. seats because coming up next is the amazing magician guys it was even better than going to the real circus thank you Bob you're welcome Johnny that's what friends are for all for one and Whoa! one for all come on everyone let's sign on Johnny's cast I have a better idea <laughs> Hi kids, when you have friends, it's important to take care of each other Because that's what friends are for Hope you have a great day filled with fun, laughter and learning See you soon 